Hey, <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm Eric Porter, and this is my son Milo. Hi. And we're here in our backyard. In our last video, we built this awesome roll-in for Milo, right next to my roll-in for the big jumps. So we got to build the entire line. We're gonna build jumps all the way down through the yard, and we're gonna make them your size. What do you think about that? I'm pretty excited. Should we get started? Yeah. The way we're gonna build these is build boxed in landings. So this is gonna help conserve dirt and make the most of what we have. So I'm gonna use the logs that I have and rip some boards and we're gonna frame them up just like we did the kids double trick jump that we built with Seth last year. So coming down the roll in, we're gonna have two rollers and then it's gonna come in with the first slip right next to the big jump line first slip. And then the landing is gonna share that landing as well. What we have to do right now is decide where all the jumps are going based on measuring it out and spacing. So we're gonna put some flags in the rest of the way down the line. Since the lips are gonna be made out of wood, we can move them around a little bit to make the line work how it needs to. You ready to dig, Owen? Yeah. Should we take out the grass and get this down to the dirt? Yeah. How do you feel about taking grass out? I hate it. Three, two, one. Last week you learned how to be a carpenter, this week you learned how to be a landscaper. landscaper. Nice work, Marlo. First test runs on the new roller double, so we're gonna see how it works before we put the first lip in. <laughs> Holy moly. Owen, you're an animal. <laughs> Milo, how was it? It's happened? fast. That's good? Yeah, you can definitely jump it. That yeah? was pretty good. <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> that is wild on the push bike. That is a nightmare. Why don't you try it on your real bike? Should we keep building now, Owen? There's one leg of duck swimming circles. Now we're gonna start putting in the landings. You know, we're ripping apart the trick jump landing. How do you feel about that? Yes. Oh, gotta be careful getting under ramps. You never know what's under there. So we're gonna frame these things up so they'll hold the dirt so we can make the most out of the dirt that we have and keep it from falling apart. And it's more work right now, but I think it's gonna be less work in the long run. You nailed it perfect first try. That's giganto. <laughs> you think you can handle it? Yeah. Is it too big, Owen? Uh, my butt will be able to hit it soon. Milo, when you said you wanted a new jump line and we were gonna build it together, did you think you'd make a jump line bigger than you? Use the sawzall, aka death slicer. Yeah. One hand here, one hand here. So push it in with your handle, then pull the trigger and let it fall downwards, okay? Nice. How was that? Hard. <laughs> Framework's all solid. Now I'm gonna use all the scrap plywood I had around the yard to box this thing in, and then I'm gonna sheet it with the milled lumber to make it look sick. We're sitting on, this is the old top of the landing, right? And we don't want this to show through once we fill it in with dirt. So we're gonna have to chop this thing down at least one board. Hey, isn't it cool that you guys get to break stuff? Yeah. Nice one. So this is the Alaska mill. This mounts up to the bar of my chainsaw. And this thing is basically a cutting guide right here. That's gonna let me cut slabs out of logs so that I can use those for the boards. Much uh, quicker and easier than going to the lumber yard. How cool is that? In less than 10 minutes, I turn one log that big around into six boards that I'm gonna use for the sheeting. These things are sweet. One of my favorite things to do and make. You can make anything out of them.
starting to look like a landing. So we'll drop these ends into the ground and then we'll put all the sides on. So this thing we built right here, it's called a dead man anchor. And what that does is it anchors it from the inside. It keeps the landing from getting pushed over that way. All right, Bryce is here at the Mini X. We're gonna get some stuff going now. That thing is so cool. That's a lot of dirt. Yeah, it is. After stacking the rest of the landings by hand, this is a heck of a lot easier, isn't it? Yeah. Right there, yeah. There we go. Nice climb. That's hard. <laughs> Karsten's a special animal. <laughs> what do you think about that, Owen? It's crazy. You wanna learn that? Yeah, hopefully before fifth grade. So your goal is to do that before fifth grade? Yes. Can I drive your machine? <laughs> Let's go drive my machine. You okay with that, Bryce? Let's do it. <laughs> you scared? No. I'm a little nervous for you. It's a big machine. <laughs> you know how I never really got you a game system for uh, video games, Milo? Yeah. I'm making up for it now with a real video game. Fuck it up, fuck it down. Yep. I think this is a good decision. It's got a roll cage. Right hand, move it to the to the right. Yep, and it'll fill it in. There you go. Yeah, perfect. Hi. Good job. Fun, huh? Yeah. That's my nice work. Thank you. All right. Bryce did everything he could last night with the machine well into the night. We've moved the dirt as well as we could with the skid steer. So now we're left with the task of shaping this dirt by hand. What do you think about this first landing, Marla? How's it coming together? It's turning out to look pretty sick. We're hitting the first landing as a spine. And hipping it. Nice, Owen. You kind of blasted it. Well, that is awesome. How's that feel? Really fun. That was huge. <laughs> what do you think about there being a jump there? That's going to be really fun. All right, we're super pumped. The dirt work is all done. We're getting really close. All we need to do is build the lips now and put them in place. I'm really excited. So you remember your carpentry stuff from the roll-in? Yeah. We're gonna use it on the lips and okay. even new stuff too. Okay. Let's get these lips built. Now we're starting the lip factory. You ready? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna learn how to build a lip and we're gonna make three of them. So we'll start out with the first one. So the way we cut our transition, which is the way the lip is with a string and we draw the line and you basically make a circle and you can decide if you want a really tight, quick lip or if you want something open or something in between. Then we're going to cut it, put ribs on, put the sides on and stand up, take it out to the yard. So I left the bottom of the lip kind of an edge and that's so I can build the bottom of the transition with dirt. 
so you have a nice smooth lead up to it. We got the lip in place, we're gonna test it out before we build the other lips. We're gonna see how this transition is. If it's good, I'll build the other ones the same transition, or I can adjust as I need to to make it right. We pushed it up nice and close. That's the nice thing with wooden lips. So we got it set at about an eight foot gap for this one, four and a half foot tall lip, and a five foot lander. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. So I'll hit it first, I'll see how it rolls, and then you can hit it if you're feeling it. If not, we can work up to it. Yeah. You got this, Milo. You say I got this, I do. It's gonna be fun. It's really smooth. Okay. What? Yeah! I chased it. That's okay. Should we go do it again? Yeah. Are you the troll under the bridge? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah? I saw you cracked a tabletop. I did crack a tabletop. Nice work on the perfect lander. And the good thing is, now that you got this one out of the way, that's the scary part. Yeah. Because we'll set the rest of them up so they work perfect first try. So all you do is land this one, and then if you land it good, you know you're good for the next one. Yeah. So that's where a well-built jump line makes it easy for you. Let's go get the second lip built, and get it put in, and the third one. Yeah. Then we can ride the whole line. Yeah. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. We worked super hard and fast. Milo's up past his bedtime. Now we just have to sheet it in the morning. What? Are you even sitting on it? Yeah. Come on, get up here and help me. Okay. Holy moly, quick yeah, rainstorm but... came in, but I think it's gonna be perfect because it's actually gonna soak everything in so we don't even have to water it before we ride. Rain will blow over, sun will come out, and then we'll shred. Milo? Yeah. Let's pad up before we jump, don't we? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. You feeling it? Yeah. All right. You excited? Yeah. If you land one good, the next one's good to go. Okay. I'm going to hit the first and second, maybe. Land the first one good, do the second. You got this, buddy. Yeah! yeah. Dude, you did it! Dude, you went all the way through. Your whole line works. He rode all the way through the line. That's sick. How'd that feel? Fun. Super fun. Should we session it? Yeah. Let's hit it again. It's pretty crazy as a dad having your kid hit like the biggest jumps they've ever hit that are actual dirt jumps, you know. Um, it's a little nerve wracking seeing him, but he's figuring it out and he's having a good time. He's staying safe, so this is cool. This is the perfect size jumps for him and it's definitely gonna take his riding up to the next level and get him ready for the big jumps if he ever wants to hit those. But I don't care if he does. <laughs> <laughs> la, la, <lums. laughs> He's still eating. 
He's been working hard and uh, he's been stuffing his face to catch back up on the calorie deficit, right? <laughs> yeah. What do you think about the new line? It's really fun. What did you tell me last night after we tested the first one? It's the best feeling ever. <laughs> I think so too. Floating through the air on dirt jumps, it's crazy, right? Yeah. Thanks for watching. This has been a super fun build and it was really cool to have you along and show you guys the process of how a whole line comes together from the roll-in in the first video to the rest of the line with this one, with the dirt, the wood, everything. If you like what you saw, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be doing stuff like this all summer along with big adventures up in the mountains. We like to have fun here, right Milo? Yeah. And we'll get more of the chicken in the next one too if you've been following along for the rest of the builds. So anyway, thanks again and make sure to tune in for the next adventure. He's out of here. <laughs> that was a big one. He's 10 years old and not only did he conquer the biggest jumps of his life, but he also did some of the hardest building he's ever done. I've made sure to keep it really fun for him though. It's not always easy to work with your kids and if your kids, it's not always easy to work with your dads. Anyway, make the most of it and you know, enjoy your time with your kids and your parents.